If you ask the question, what is this organism that you call the human being? That question is best answered by the sciences. But if you ask the question, what is the experience of being this organism that you call the human being? The question of experience is best answered by humanities. The humanities are very, very much involved in telling a story about ourselves. A story is not just a fiction. A story is a self-understanding. The best argument for studying humanities at the University of Chicago, you have exposure to an extraordinary breadth of opportunity to one side or the other of the discipline that you're working on, and a, a, a ceiling for your ambition that is virtually infinite. What really drew me to this university was the clarity with which people conceive of the mission of the University of Chicago. Everyone here understands that there is one thing that is of primary importance, and that is excellence in research. This is a place where people love ideas, and people love to see people trying out new ideas. People love risk takers. And everyone here understands that thought can only flourish in an arena of freedom. The university really inspires its faculty and students to dream big dreams, and then it helps them to make those dreams happen. I think it's not a coincidence that we've made so many important innovations in how to accommodate changing disciplinary patterns in the 20th century. The workshop system was brought in in, uh, in 1982. The University of Chicago was and is the foremost place uh, in the world for doing uh, linguistic studies. It's one of the oldest, perhaps we think the oldest uh, program in linguistics. Uh, we've had linguists on the faculty since the founding of the university. I'm sure that every faculty member here is offered jobs every year at lots of different institutions. But the reason people stay here is because of the strong culture and to be in a place where everyone around you is on that same level of search. Every program, department, and unit in the Division of the Humanities is today stronger than it has ever been before. So I've become very really interested in climate change. I've got a junior colleague from history, Frederick Johnson. I taught a course with him. Uh, I was able to um, uh, introduce a new core class, uh, Language in the Human, and it covers everything from you know, Plato to Orwell, uh, looking at uh, language in the humanities. I founded the Center for Interdisciplinary Research in German Literature and Culture. We've produced in the past 10 years uh, five books out of those uh, conferences. To be able to share my work, this highly refined, very nuanced, very particular, iconoclastic work with people that are interested in it is deeply meaningful. We don't have to talk about interdisciplinarity here because it's in the DNA. That simply is the way we operate. Interdisciplinarity is more than just a catchword. It's, uh, uh, it's really the way we, um, we pursue our studies. I find it very invigorating to be able to interact with these people, read what they're writing, hear what they're making. The idea that all of these people are working together in this amazing culture that is the University of Chicago is an incredible inspiration, and I feel very humbled to be a part of that. We are the institution that holds the highest standards of humanistic, intellectual, scholarship and pedagogy. We train the students who go out and are leaders throughout the world in the humanities, in government, in industry, bringing with them the critical tools and skills and humanistic values.